it's Louise here from Crazy Borgies. I hope you're well and fine on this beautiful, what day are we today? Wednesday. Wednesday, that's the one. Sorry, I've got you on a gooseneck stand again. I'm in my bedroom today because Rio is such a nightmare at the moment. She's just, I think what happens with Rio is that she has um, a change of feathers at this time of year. So she sheds quite a lot of feathers and quite a new few new new ones come through and uh she doesn't really like it very much she gets a bit grumpy okay so today's video i have an unboxing for you and um it's from new craft day now i've worked with them many many times before done lots and lots of unboxings for them really like their company um what can I say? It is something different. It is not diamond painted. Well, it sort of is a little bit diamond painted related. Um, but there's no diamond paintings. So it's diamond painting storage. Yes, one of those ones. So I thought, seeing as I've got no diamond paintings to show you, I would give you a little... Um, tour of my bedroom which I share with my two youngest children and it is like a diamond painting sort of like a madness wall of wall of fame I guess you know of all um, my diamond paintings that I've done inspired by my children you know they you know little characters that they like so I'm going to stop jibber jabbering. I'm just going to show you quickly my my wall of fame, as I call it. And um, if you are new to my channel, then please give me a like, subscribe, share, comment down below and follow me on TikTok and Instagram on Crazy Borgies Diamond Art. The more that you like my videos, the more in um, the more YouTube will show my videos basically because when you like a video that's basically um helps youtube know which content you like and gives more recommendation so therefore um if someone else types in diamond painting and my video has a lot of likes it will come up so that's how it works on youtube unfortunately <laughs> so okay then i'm gonna get started i'm gonna stop rabbiting on for a whole two minutes 53 54 minutes two minutes 50 something seconds wow okay so i'm gonna just flip you around to show you my wall of fame of diamond painting completions some of which you may have seen before on my channel some you may not have and uh you can see what my children and me go to sleep looking at every night and waking up to in the morning okay guys hang on one second okay guys right I'm trying not to show you my chaos i really need to get a bigger house guys because i mean i'm really struggling having the younger ones in with me to be honest especially as uh my diamond paintings <laughs> taking over guys diamond paintings and cross stitch anyway right so this is the wall above my bed so you can see we have a bit of a chicken theme going on and uh due to my child who is severely one of my daughters is severely autistic and absolutely loves chickens or chickadees as i call them and um that's why we have lots of chickens and i've still got lots of chickens to do and uh we have olaf down there as well because she's nuts on frozen so she just loves it it's already been pulled off the wall once because it's on it's secured by one of those command strips so that is my first wall and the unicorns over there that is my um my other daughter and uh she just loves unicorns and then we have the gorgeous swan and then the the kind of funny looking giraffe in the clouds and another unicorn so i've got one last space here i'm, I'm deciding what i'm going to put there probably another chicken 
if I'm honest with you, but it has to be a 30 by 30 because that's the only space that I've got. But out of all these, I have to say my favourite are definitely the partials. So I really love the two um, in the middle, these two. They were from fan sales. They were an order that I made personally, I'm sure. And um, I just love them. I just love the colour. And they've got quite a lot of special shapes going on. One of my favourite special shapes, which is this one. And uh, I just thought they looked really nice together. And um, they've been up there practically two years now these ones they're one of my yeah quite some time one of my first ones that I showcased on my channel and um, I still love them to this day and um, yeah they're really really lovely and the sealant I think I used on these was only Mod Podge and it's it's held up pretty well I have to say so yeah so out of all of them on this wall, I have to say my favourite is definitely those those two in the middle. And then I have my little chickadee, um, what's it called? Yeah, reef, is it? Is it reef? Yeah, it's a reef. And um, I think I got that one. I'm going to hazard a guess and say possibly New Craft Day possibly or it could be fancies i don't know guys i don't i do so many now that i really lose track of it you know and i'm pretty sure this was a paid order this one i don't know if you flip through my youtube channel uh my videos i know i've got quite a lot of them there <laughs> over 200 maybe one of you'd be able to find out where i got this from i don't know i can't remember guys to be honest with you and uh, that one was done um, when I was testing this border frame, you know, the uh, the white adhesive border, which is made out of foam. I didn't stick it to the wall, though, guys. I just used a command strip on the back of uh, I put it on a piece of cardboard and then put the um, the border frame. I stuck it to the cardboard behind the canvas and uh, then it's hung up with command strips because I was just worried about my wall to be honest with you guys I really was so um, I just didn't feel comfortable putting it on the um, straight on the wall and then we have a bubble round obviously of Mr Olaf in a pinkish background which I thought was really unusual usually Olaf is always in a blue background because of Frozen and then I have, um, down here, I have my tiny little one of um, the Holy Spirit, the dove that I did. And I have it beside my bed looking down at me. And sometimes when I'm having a bit of a, a tough time, I sort of say a prayer and I just look at it sometimes. Don't ask me why. <laughs> just do <laughs> okay guys and then down here is i'm gonna show you on my bed is this uh diamond painted lamp with the gorgeous butterfly in. i think i've done an unboxing of it on the actual channel but i don't think that I showed it once it was completed because I think my daughter ran off with it and there I know um, Enza did one very similar to this but I think there was something wrong with the lights this was bought out of my own money off Amazon I can't remember how much I paid I think it was about £10 something but I really liked the design and the gold around it <coughs> and it's been up a, a you know I just sort of have it beside the, the bed because my daughter loves lights and I just think it's really beautiful I do like these cute little LED lights so but this one it was fine the picture and the light bulbs all matched up correctly so hang on the next oh sorry you just saw my finger there 
the next one is this one. Oh gosh this one guys this one's been through the wars i'm telling you i'm telling you it's been through the wars it's really dusty as well there but it does change uh it changes color there see it has several settings on it or you can have it on one consistent color and you just hold it down for it to go off and that again has has withstood uh little hands shall we say although i did make a mistake when i was sealing this one because i had to put quite a lot of sealant on it because my children are quite heavy handed and i know that they will try to take these gems off so i use i think i used a spray and it really i couldn't get the glue off the plastic behind it so i just left it anyway so i thought it's only going in my bedroom but i really like this little night as well they're really cute you know you can get so much to diamond paint now so much right so there's my two little night lights let me turn that one off now this is battery operated and so is that one as well so although i've just seen a little i guess maybe you could have it as a, in a plug as well because it's got a little charging thing there right hang on a second i'm just going to flip you over to the other wall so this one is a luminous 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 yes that's the word louise so at night time it glows in the dark just the outline of the uh dolphins pretty sure that was from fan sales and it was bought by myself and i got it because my children are a bit well one of them is scared of the dark and um i just added a few extra stars on because there wasn't that many stars and i had loads in the pack so i thought i went a bit crazy with those stars on this one guys again it's only a partial but you know what some of my favorite paintings i've done have been partials and I know there's this huge thing about partials, uh, a bit of a waste of money and time, you know, and all the rest of it. But some of them, as I said, are really beautiful. And this was one that I really liked. So um, I'm going to give partials a big thumbs up from me on my channel. I love partials. Um, but then I love full drills as well. I don't really have a preference. The preference changes on the picture. That's that's where it changes. Although I'm not too keen, we're not too keen on the googly eyes on this one because <laughs> again, my children and eyes don't go down very well. This one here is a partial. It was a cheapie off um, Amazon. It was my first ever, 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 ever diamond painting. The first one I ever done and I absolutely loved it and I think I did change it a bit I think um I put a bit more of the pink gems around the sides of it I wasn't too happy with the tea in with at the top but hey ho and I framed it obviously um and I've got this twice. I've got it in a partial and a full drill. Downstairs in my living room, it's a full drill. Um, but for my bedroom, I just have it at the bottom of my bed on the wall so I can see it when I'm asleep or in the night. Okay. Right. This is my last wall, guys, I promise. So, we have the partial, colourful um, peacock at the top which my daughter absolutely fell in love with and demanded that I put it up on the wall so she could see it because she loves a rainbow. And yeah, it's still holding up the test of time. It's only up there on command strips, so it's holding up quite well. You'll have to excuse the state of my ceiling and that. It's just, oh, yeah. It's life, guys, it's life. But I think it's absolutely beautiful. And again, we have some special shapes. We have those large white pearl domes, 
which absolutely are beautiful and the border was just a bit of leftover ribbon that I had that I stuck down okay and there's a cherry tree uh cherry tree nighttime image at the top there again another one of my favorites and that was purchased for by me that was my first ever bubble round absolutely love doing that one love it and then i have the snail the butterfly that butterfly in the middle is luminous i don't know what's happened to it. it's a bit wonky at the moment. i think someone's been trying to get it off the wall actually it did come off the wall because one of my daughters took it off the wall a couple of months ago yeah so then we have a unicorn ah oh, this unicorn in the camera it looks a lot better than what it does in reality let me just say that it's a full drill and it's a 30 by 30 i was a bit not happy with this when it came out i thought it it was a bit mad it would have looked better in a partial in fact i think there is a partial of this one and then we have the cute little fairy on the rainbow and the unicorn the unicorn whale or dolphin or shark i'm not really sure what that one is at the top but yeah so that's a row and then down here we have a wreath of um daisy and mini because my daughter loves mini as well and then we have a 30 by 40 mini mouse there and then again we have a bubble round colorful tree which I absolutely love until this day still get comments on my tiktok about it asking me where i got it from i'm pretty sure it was fan sales but the colors are just stunning until this day i still love looking at it and that's you know the joy of diamond painting isn't it creating something that we can look at and enjoy for many many years to come so yeah mini mouse is a full drill there and yeah that's it and then it's back to that wall over there so it's a bit of a diamond painting madness at the top over there is a unicorn reef as well so yeah okay guys let's get straight to this unboxing i bet you weren't expecting all this <laughs> i thought i'd just show you seeing as i was up here so hang on a second sorry guys another quickie this is nelly the elephant that's still got to go on the wall as well but i've run out of command strips but she's gonna go up in the very near future <laughs> okay right i'm back so now we're going to do the unboxing part of the video um i do have loads more diamond paintings apart from the ones that i've just shown you completed i've got like two two albums portfolio albums filled up and I've got some on my bed on my living room wall downstairs as well and my bathroom actually but anyway okay right so new craft day obviously I have my discount code as well which I will put along the screen for you now it is crazy 10 capital C R A Z Y 10 and you will get given a 10% discount at your checkout when you put that code in okay so you have to bear with me my asthma is kind of bad today guys so um well it's it's really got bad I, I think i'm gonna have to go on some stronger medication but that's the joys of being asthmatic so we have one paint by numbers yes i did say paint by numbers and we have a diamond painting storage case yes we'll put that over there so i think i will start off with the storage case and then do the um paint by numbers last okay so i will link all the description products in the I will link all the products shown today on this video in the description box down below. That's the one. 
can't talk today guys so they said they had these in stock and they asked me if i wanted one and of course i said yes because being diamond painter doesn't need storage that's the problem with this craft isn't it it takes up a lot a lot of space so it comes in a handy little carry case this one is let me see this one at its widest point is i'd say 24 and a half centimeters by by 20 okay and oh we get some stickers so you get some lovely stickers and they're the circular ones to put on your pots got a little pocket here as well and then you get this foam holder inside so you can take it out flip it upside down if you choose to or is it just me that does that <laughs> sometimes i go when i can't see through the top i'll go and flip them up down upside down so i can see the colors in the bottom or the special shapes so this one is one two three four five six thirty this is a thirty case so um you get thirty bottles with it and they're the normal size bottles as well, so they're not the small dinky ones because I think there's a couple of sizes of this. And you get the small ones that are about half the size and then you get these ones. So lovely jubbly. And the thing that I love about these little cases is it is in this holder. So you know that they're not going to be flying around everywhere when you if you have to take it somewhere with your project. Okay. And loving the fact that obviously it comes with the round circular stickers as well. Um, I will list, as I said, I will list it down below the product linked link and I will let you know the price of this at the end of the video. OK, I chose black with the red border round. They do, I think they do purple and a few other colours um, around the edge but obviously i love red so that's my favorite color so i went for that one so a huge thank you to new craft day for this beautiful storage that we always need we always need storage being diamond painters it's um no joke so huge thank you for that so next is the oh god the adhesive on this Next is a paint by numbers, guys. I'll zoom you back. And I chose this because my daughter has really got into paint by numbers. My wonder is at university. Oh, God. Can't get into it. The adhesive is really tough. And she absolutely loved doing SpongeBob. So she was like, please, mummy, choose please mum choose a paint by number so i was like oh go on then i suppose i've got enough diamond painting so this one is for her to do and then when she completes it i will show you guys the end result but i'm sure you'll agree anything that gets <sighs> anything that gets kids out of their rooms these days because i was saying to my dad as well they don't need to go out to socialize anymore back in the day it, i sound really old saying this but when we were younger we didn't have a choice we had to go out if we wanted to socialize now they just go on their phone so anyway again it comes with your standard kit with the three brushes you've got a thick brush in the middle and you've got the two you got one really fine brush and then another medium fine brush there so you get your free brushes you get your little hooks as well if you want to put it on a piece of cardboard or on a piece of um, wood or plasterboard and hang it up it's always handy okay so there's the colors i will put it to one side and show you those in a minute wow 
I love the feel of these canvases, I must admit. So it comes in a foam roller, which is a bit bent and, yeah. But, you know, they tried, bless them. And just wondering where the picture is, because usually they have a picture with it. Okay, so we get the instructions there, telling us exactly how to do and what to do um yeah now i've been told that you can iron the back of these just like we can iron the back of our diamond painting canvases but i don't know if i'd want to guys you know i don't really like the idea of applying um of applying a uh Sorry guys, I'm just trying to see if the picture fell out because usually the picture comes with it rolled up but I can't actually see the picture which is a shame because it's nice to have it as a guide. Um, there. I'm not sure if you can even tell what it is on the picture. Let me turn the light on. Hang on. It's got a really funny... I'm a really funny colour in my room at the moment, or shade of light. Oh, English is not my forte today. <laughs> Maybe I should try some of my Spanish that I've been learning for Manuela, who is uh, who makes comments on my YouTube channel quite regularly. So, hola Manuela, como esta? Um, yeah, so I've been learning little phrases so that I can talk to her. Uh, I was going to say, uh, my mind's gone blank. There we go. It's not working in Spanish or English today. Never mind. Never mind. We get there. We get there, guys. Uh, so, as I said, this one is uh, SpongeBob. And it's a lot bigger than the one that she chose. Where is my... Um, Hang on a sec, guys. No, there's definitely no picture. Whoa, nearly fell off the bed. That's not a good look. <laughs> oh, dear. What is this parrot making me do, guys? Honestly, drives me insane with her squawking. Right, so... It's measuring in at, oh, it's a big one. It's just shy of 49 and a half centimetres. And in fact, once you stretch it out a bit, it would probably be 50 centimetres, I would say, because it has got some rolls in it still. So it needs to go flat. And then... This way would be 40, I would say. So, 50 by 40. Yes. And if you can't tell, if you can't see, it is SpongeBob and his friends. So, last time she just done SpongeBob by himself. This one is Mr. SpongeBob and his friends. So, there's... I'm not going to even try to attempt to name all, all the characters because I know I will get it wrong. Um, do you know what? This one I don't think would be that difficult because there are large blocks of colour. Quite a lot of it is large blocks. We do have a few little tiny wobbly bits but they're not that tiny and it's a good size i think um for paint by numbers because the problem is with paint by numbers is the smaller that you go with your painting the harder oh my gosh it is to do i done a small one thinking yeah it'd be fine you know it'd be easy no i really wish i'd have started off with one this size 
because it might take longer to complete yes but i think the end result would be worth it whereas if you do a smaller image it's just they, these little numbers too much it's too small too small so um yeah i think this one will come out really well and it will keep her off the telephone and technology for a bit as well so she really enjoyed doing the the other one didn't take her long either to do spongebob but if you are going to go for a small paint by numbers i would keep the image simple don't go for like a scenic one like i did with my boat and the lighthouse oh my gosh <laughs> I still have nightmares about it to this day. I love doing it. I love painting. But it got to a point with some of the small, tiny little numbers that I was just, oh, do you know what? Who's going to know? I'll just put the bit of this there, there and whatever. I'll just freestyle it. So I just winged that one all the way, basically. Um, yeah. So I think this one come out really okay being a decent size and we will check these beautiful colors it has 22 colors and we have a canvas number here which is linked up to the canvas number down below i'll zoom you up so you can see how clear they are so you can see what i mean there there are some little bits, but overall, not too bad. You know, they're not small that you would have to put, like, I don't know, use a toothpick or something. I think you'd be okay. So, I mean, there are a few little areas, but I'll just see how she does it. Because how she gets on with it. And again, it is your project, so however you choose to do it is up to you, isn't it? So, I think she's going to be really excited to do this one, actually. Okay, so, let me zoom you out now. We're going to put this paint by numbers over here it's really soft those canvases really lovely so they're like i can't explain they are like oil cloth you know like you know your tablecloth in my tablecloth i've got it's like oil cloth this is what this feels like this canvas so soft Okay, let me get these little pots out if I can find the opening. So, we have 22 colours as I said. So, we have our light blues, we've got a creamy colour, green, lilac, blue again. Another shade of blue, yellow, pink, orange, brown, another cream. And again, we have probably best to show you like that, isn't it? I'll show you on the side. This is like a burgundy colour, this. And then purpley, navy navy green that's a gorgeous green lilac and a creamy white and then we have reds black brown so they are beautiful colors for sure all the colors of the rainbow and you wouldn't think it but there is plenty in these little pots because it's quite thick, this paint as well. It has a very thick, creamy consistency. So, let's see, which one shall I open? Um, I'll go for red because red is my favourite colour. I don't know if I've told you that enough times. 
<laughs> Here we go. Oh. There. Whoa. So yes, it's very thick, very creamy. Fine. Always make sure you hear that click when you push it back because that will seal it and stop it from drying out. Okay, guys? Always just double check it. So even though my one of my daughters, when I was doing my paint by numbers, she opened it and uh, put red paint all over her hands. I thought she was bleeding, but she wasn't. It was just paint, praise the Lord. So no spillages. Which is good. Loving that green shade as well. Okay, I'm just going to hop off, find out exactly how much they these products cost and come back. Hang on a second. Right, storage case with the 30 bottles um, for your diamond painting storage is £14.98. $14, sorry, 98 And then the paint by numbers, 40 by 50 was nine dollars 25 cent so um they do have a little conversion chart on their website if you scroll down to the bottom of their page then you can put in the currency according to your country so that's all good they are international as well so yeah that's my unboxing completed today i know this video has been a bit all over the place you know diamond painting wall of hate wall of fame that's it and uh, paint by numbers and then diamond painting storage but hey ho it is what it is I hope you all are blessed and hope you all have a beautiful remainder of your Wednesday um, huge huge thank you to everyone who comments on my uh, YouTube I will sit down at some point I know I keep saying it but I will and uh, get back do some reply replies on my laptop when I get it to finally work and um, yeah that's all I've got for you today guys so take care god bless and please like subscribe share comment down below follow me on tiktok and instagram on crazy borgies diamond art and um yeah happy crafting okay guys bye for now bye oh don't forget to use the crazy 10 discount code if you do go to new craft day capital c r a z y 10 i will link that in the description box down below along with these products and along with um with just a link to their store if you want to have a browse that's the one okay guys bye for now Bye, take care, God bless, bye.